This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's arranging jewelry on a display rack. B. She's trying on bracelets. C. She's removing a dress from a hanger. D. She's paying for some merchandise. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's working at a desk. B. She's moving some chairs. C. She's looking out a window. D. She's organizing books on a shelf. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. He's repairing a fence. B. He's sweeping the stairs. C. He's carrying a bicycle. D. He's sitting in the park. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. One of the men is leaving a building. B. One of the men is pointing at a computer screen. C. One of the men is putting on a security badge. D. One of the men is standing at a counter. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some trees are shading a walkway. B. Some grass is being cut. C. Some road signs are being installed. D. Some branches are being cleared from a street. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. One of the women is searching through her backpack. B. Some people are approaching a bench. C. Flower pots have been hung above a patio. D. Information has been posted near an entrance. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. How many boxes of toner did we order? A. Put them on the bookshelf. B. An online catalog. C. At least three or four. Number eight. What should employees bring to the training session? A. Just a pencil and some paper. B. Not if it's busy. C. Early in the morning. 
Number 9. Where is the cafeteria? A. Sure, let's go. B. It's on the second floor. C. After 8 o'clock. Number 10. When will the sales projections be finished? A. In about an hour. B. It's on sale all week. C. In the movie theater. Number 11. Oh no, it's starting to rain. A. A few miles from the office. B. There's an umbrella in the closet. C. It leaves from platform 5. Number 12. Who do I call if there's a problem? A. That's a good idea. B. The department manager. C. Try after lunch. Number 13. Let's try that new restaurant on the corner. A. Yes, she already ordered. B. No, it's not too far. C. But I had Italian food yesterday. Number 14. Should we work on the brochure or start with a website first? A. I found my job online. B. Either one is fine with me. C. In mid January. Number 15. What time are we having the safety drill? A. Yeah, I've completed it. B. At the hardware store. C. It's scheduled for 10 a.m. Number 16. Would you like to speak at the annual meeting? A. Oh, I'd love to do that. B. He wasn't at the meeting. C. There's no annual fee. Number 17. Is there a place to get coffee at the train station? A. $10 per person. B. I've never been there before. C. The Express to Berlin. Number 18. Why is the conference room so cold? A. Probably at the end of the hallway. B. I think it's comfortable. C. At a doctor's appointment. Number 19. Melissa gave the contract to her clients already, didn't she? A. Please contact me. B. Yes, she just did. C. I'm almost ready. Number 20. Who updated the employee handbook? A. We decided not to change it. B. At the bookstore. C. There are 32 employees. Number 21. I appreciate all your hard work. A. They certainly are. B. No, the data should arrive soon. C. Dion did a lot of it. Number 22. Do we have your medical history forms on file? A. I like historical films. B. No, this is my first visit. C. For a complete physical. Number 23. Why did Ms. Kearns request maintenance service? A. Because her refrigerator isn't working. B. You'll have to get permission. C. Tomorrow afternoon. Number 24. How have customers responded to our latest tablet computer? A. Have you suggested that? B. Okay, you can use mine. C. So far, the reviews are excellent. Number 25. Doesn't the product need to be tested again? A. It was approved for production last week. B. The interview is on Tuesday. 
C. A new line of cookware. Number 26. Did you have trouble accessing your digital photos? A. Yes, can you help me? B. With a better camera. C. I saw them in a magazine. Number 27. Are you going to buy a house or rent an apartment when you relocate? A. Yes, many good locations. B. A real estate agent. C. Have you seen the house prices? Number 28. Ming, would you take minutes at the team meeting? A. What sport do you play? B. Isn't it longer than that? C. Sure, would you send me a reminder? Number 29. This battery is rechargeable, right? A. Three yellow cables. B. Let me read the packaging. C. No, in the left drawer. Number 30. Isn't Professor Heller giving a speech at the event? A. No, I'm going to a class. B. Yes, he's the keynote speaker. C. It was a fantastic talk. Number 31. Has the floor tile for the lobby been delivered yet? A. He works at the front desk. B. Just put it right there. C. It was the wrong colour. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, and thank you for calling Teresa's. How can I help you? Hi, I'd like to make a dinner reservation for five people at 7.30 tonight. My name's Ian Branson. Hmm, I can seat you in the dining room at that time, or if you don't mind waiting until 8 o'clock, we can put you outside on the patio. Which would you prefer? Oh, in that case, we'll wait. The weather has been so great this week. I'd prefer to sit outside. Number 32. Where does the woman most likely work? Number 33. Why is the man calling? Number 34. What is the man willing to wait for? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Jin Suk, do you know how to get to Reynolds Square in the city centre? I'm meeting a friend of mine there this evening. I think there's a bus, but it makes a lot of stops. You know, actually, I have to drive to the city centre. I'm going to run some errands after work. Oh, OK. Thanks. I appreciate it. That makes things a whole lot easier. You leave the office around 5 o'clock, right? Yes, that's right. Number 35. What is the man planning to do? Number 36. Why does the woman say, I have to drive to the city centre? Number 37. What does the woman confirm? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm calling because my 3 p.m. flight to Mumbai was cancelled. I'd like to check what other options you have. Sure, let me take a look. I'd like to depart today if possible. It looks like the only seat available is on the same flight tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hmm, that's too late. I'm traveling to a conference and I need to get there sooner. 
I know Indian Airways has a flight at 11 p.m. Can you put me on that one? Unfortunately, I can't book you with another carrier. However, I could give you a full refund so you can book that flight directly with them. That sounds good. I'll take the refund. Number 38. What problem is the man calling about? Number 39. What event is the man planning to attend? Number 40. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Nadia, since you work for me in customer service, I wanted to talk to you about a position you might be interested in. We need an assistant customer service manager to help me with daily tasks. Oh, I didn't know there was a position opening up. That would be great for my career, but I haven't been here that long. Do you think I'm really qualified for the position? You've done a great job handling customer inquiries, so yes, I think you're ready to take on more responsibility. Why don't you take a look at this job description and see what you think? Number 41. What department does the woman work in? Number 42. What is the woman concerned about? Number 43. What does the man suggest? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling to get some information about your shipping services. My company manufactures glassware and we have clients in Mexico. Do you ship there? Yes, we do. With us, you can send your products by air or by ground transport. Which of those two options would be safer to use? I'm worried because the glassware is so fragile. Either way is safe, but if you want, you can visit our website and it will figure out the exact arrival date for each method. You can choose the one that best suits your clients. Number 44. Where does the man work? Number 45. Why is the woman concerned? Number 46. What does the man say about the website? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Alex, did you get an update from Fryer Airport about our contract to run our advertising campaign in Terminal C? Yes, their representative said that we can start our ads by the beginning of May. Okay. And what about the digital advertisements that we would run on flat screens? They have enough screens available? We need at least four around the terminal. You know, they said they're in the process of installing additional screens right now, but let me call him back right away just to make sure they'll be ready in time. Number 47. What are the speakers discussing? Number 48. What does the woman ask the man to confirm? Number 49. What will the man do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Hartman. I'm calling from Lewis Home Decorating Center. The living room furniture you ordered has arrived. Our delivery agents will be able to drop it off at your place this afternoon. Oh, but there's a small leak in my roof that I need to have repaired before any furniture can be put in the living room. Well, our policy says we can hold orders here at the store for up to a week. When do you think the roof repair will be completed? I'm meeting with a contractor at 3 o'clock today to discuss the repairs. I won't be able to arrange the delivery until I see what he says. Number 50. Where most likely does the woman work?
Number 51. What problem does the man indicate? Number 52. What will the man do at 3 o'clock? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Fatima. Can I still make a change to the monthly sales report? I'm supposed to send it out this morning. I got a call from the Farmingdale store saying that the data they sent me was wrong. They're emailing me a corrected version this afternoon. All right, then. Could you send me those figures when you get them? I'll have to update the report. No, I'll take care of that for you. Let me put together an email explaining what the changes are, and I'll send it to everyone. Number 53. What does the woman imply when she says, I'm supposed to send it out this morning? Number 54. What problem does the man mention? Number 55. What does the man offer to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. So, James, I've shown you where all the main book sections are. Fiction, non-fiction, children's. Any questions so far? Yes, I was wondering when the busiest times are here. Well, a lot of children come in Monday mornings because we have children's story time. We're usually busiest from 10 to 12. OK. Um, Raj, I think this woman's looking for help. Yes. Excuse me. I was looking for the book Wonders of the West, but I couldn't find it in the nature section. Sure. I can help you with that. James, let me take this opportunity to show you how to check whether books are in stock. Number 56. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 57. Why are Monday mornings busy? Number 58. What does the woman ask about? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thanks for attending this project planning meeting. As you know, our technology firm is interested in developing an electric car. However, since we currently produce only mobile phones and computers, I think we should partner with an automobile manufacturer. Since we don't have any sort of background in building cars, working with an automobile manufacturer is a good suggestion. We could combine our technical knowledge with their mechanical expertise. I worry, though, that this project will cost more money than we have available. I agree with Samuel's concern. It's too ambitious for our firm right now. Even if we split the finances with the company we partner with, it'll take us over our budget. Number 59. Where do the speakers work? Number 60. What does the woman suggest doing? Number 61. Why do the men advise against pursuing the project? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Welcome to City Tours. Can I help you? I was hoping to go on the tour of the Old City Theatre at 1 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. We really should update our brochure. We're not doing that tour right now because the theatre is closed for renovations. Well, I do have a special interest in the interior decor of historic buildings, so I'll wait and take this later tour. Certainly. And if you'd like to get something to eat while you wait, I can recommend the main course sandwich shop. It's just right down the street at the corner. Thanks. That sounds like a great idea. Number 62. Why does the man apologize? Number 63. Look at the graphic. When will the woman's tour begin? Number 64. 
Number 64. What will the woman most likely do before the tour? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Hi, I'm John Bapkins from Bapkins Fitness Center, and I'll be speaking at the International Health Symposium on Friday. I was told to call this event services number to ask where to park. There is parking available at the event center, but it's expensive. I recommend the parking area at the corner of Fairview Boulevard and 11th Street. It's the farthest from the center, but they're waiving their $10 fee for convention participants. Great, thanks. And what should I bring to show I'm there for the symposium? I'll make a list of names and leave it with whoever is working at the gate. They may ask for your name, but they shouldn't need anything else. Number 65. What does the man say he will be doing at an event? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which parking area does the woman recommend using? Number 67. What will the woman make a list of? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and error message. Technical support, may I help you? Yeah, I was trying to update a spreadsheet when error code 984 popped up. I don't know what to do. We've had lots of calls about this lately. Go ahead and send an error report. We want the software developer to be aware of the problem too. It'll also save a copy of the report on your desktop for me to look at. I'll be over to your office right away. Thanks. I'm in Office 243. The project I'm working on is really important, so I'm worried about my data being erased. I should be able to correct the problem and recover any lost data for you. Number 68. Who most likely is the woman? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which option should the man select? Number 70. What does the man say he is worried about? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Looking for a great place to eat? Come to Cooper's Restaurant. City Sites magazine recognized us as one of the top 10 restaurants in Pearl City for using all locally grown fruits and vegetables in our dishes. Cooper's is conveniently located in the heart of the entertainment district, so it's the perfect place to enjoy a meal before a play or concert. Call today for a reservation. We're open every day from 11 a.m. to midnight. To see our menu and the list of daily specials, visit our website. We hope to see you soon. Number 71. According to the speaker, what is the restaurant known for? Number 72. According to the speaker, what is near the restaurant? Number 73. Why should listeners visit a website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Wu Yifei from West Hill Auto Rental. I received your message about some problems you're having with a car you rented from us. I apologize for the inconvenience. We inspect each car before we rent it out, and none of our technicians noticed anything wrong with the car. Now, 
You said that the car is making an unusual noise and that the noise is getting louder? I'd like to arrange for someone to come out today and take a look. Please let me know when you're available. Number 74. Where does the woman work? Number 75. Why does the woman say, None of our technicians noticed anything wrong with the car. Number 76. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following instructions. My name is Gordon and I'll be training you on how to use the company's new data processing program. I know all of you have been using the computer program Datascope 3 for a while, so I'll only cover the new features of Datascope 4. First, make sure you see three different documents in your personal training folders. We'll be using those folders today. Then try launching the Datascope 4 program. If it doesn't work for you, you'll need to share a computer with the person next to you so that we can finish quickly. Number 77. What type of event are the listeners attending? Number 78. What are the listeners asked to check first? Number 79. According to the speaker, what might some listeners have to do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Jane Smith. I'm calling from Universal Construction Supplies for Rahim Ali. We reviewed your application and we're interested in bringing you in for an interview. We need someone who has experience managing a warehouse and we see that you're doing that at your current job. Are you available to come in Monday at 3 p.m. for an interview? Although you'd be working in the construction supply warehouse, we'd interview you at our headquarters. The office is a little tricky to find, so if you're interested, call back and I can give you directions. The number is 555-0121. Number 80. Where does the speaker work? Number 81. What job experience does the speaker mention? Number 82. What does the speaker say about the company's headquarters? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. I want to thank everyone for their participation in this year's conference of the Association of Tax Accountants. It's been a very interesting couple of days in a wonderful city. Before we finish up for the weekend, I want to tell you about a new benefit of membership that the association is offering. By popular request, we are now offering a subscription to our monthly magazine, Tax Accounting for Professionals. It's an outstanding award-winning publication, and we're now offering it free to all association members. If you haven't joined yet, be sure to check your conference packet to find out more about membership fees. Number 83. Who are the listeners? Number 84. What do association members receive? Number 85. According to the speaker, what information can be found in the conference packet? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good afternoon. My part in today's staff meeting will be brief. I'm pleased to announce that the company has had a very good year financially. We've never seen our sales so high, and this, of course, is directly attributable to how hard all the staff has worked. 
I want to thank you for your efforts and let you know that all employees will receive a bonus in December. You're probably wondering how much it will be, but I haven't gotten the final figures yet. Again, many thanks, and now I'll turn the meeting over to Amy, who will talk about the recent updates to our vacation policy. Amy? Number 86. According to the speaker, what did the company do this year? Number 87. What does the speaker imply when she says, I haven't gotten the final figures yet. Number 88. What will Amy talk about? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following advertisement. Are you starting a new business venture but are having trouble attracting investors? Advanced Ideas Incorporated can help. We specialize in creating effective business plans that help you get the funding you need to achieve your goals. As of last year, we've helped over 2,000 clients worldwide create successful business plans. Yours could be next. Check out our website to see all the positive feedback we've received from satisfied clients. Call us today at 555-0107 to schedule your consultation. The first time is free. We're ready to help your business grow. Number 89. What does Advanced Ideas Incorporated specialize in? Number 90. What does the speaker say is available on the company's website? Number 91. What does the company offer free of charge? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Harper Electronics welcomes you here for a tour of our innovation labs, where you'll see how we develop new products. We'll start with a brief video on the history of the company. Then you'll visit the labs to see the projects we're currently working on. The labs themselves are a restricted area, which means no photographs. At 11 a.m., we'll move to a special visitor's conference room. That isn't a restricted area. There, you'll meet one of Harper Electronics' lead engineers. She'll answer any questions you have to finish up our morning together. Number 92. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 93. What does the speaker imply when she says, That isn't a restricted area. Number 94. What does the speaker say will happen at the end of the morning? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and chart. Hi, Ken. Thanks for making a chart comparing the features of the copy machines we're considering for our office. I know we've already talked about prices, so looking at this information, I think we can go with the one without all the extra features. We really don't need them for the work we do. Also, um, one question, should we have it shipped by express or regular delivery? We need it by the beginning of next week. Either way, you'll need to talk to Pedro. He'll give you the corporate credit card to make the purchase. Thanks for taking care of this. Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which device would the speaker like to buy? Number 96. What does the speaker ask about? Number 97. Why does the speaker mention Pedro? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. Thank you all for being here at tonight's city planning meeting. First on the agenda is the budget for the bike path project. We have almost all the funds we need. We've applied for a grant from a private foundation that would cover the money that we still need to begin the project. 
If this foundation agrees to fund our project, we'll be able to start construction of the bicycle paths next April. They'll be built along the canal and run all the way into the city centre. Based on our research, we anticipate that our bike paths will considerably lessen the traffic congestion on our roads. Number 98. What type of project is the speaker discussing? Number 99. Look at the graphic. How much money is still needed to begin the project? Number 100. According to the speaker, what major advantage will the project have? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording.